Hey everybody, welcome back to more Pikmin 2. It is day 21 and we're going to be going to the perplexing pool to get the final above ground treasure and take on submerged castles. So I noticed that we have 131 out of 201 treasures, so we need 70 more treasures to go before we get every item in the game here. And there's only a total of 14 left in the perplexing pool, so you know, 70 minus 14 is 56. So there's 56 treasures between these three caves and the five above ground treasures in the Wistful Wild. So there's only 51 treasures in between these three caves, so there's a lot of treasures in all those. And uh, those are some of the most difficult caves in the game. I think second hardest is probably Submerged Castle, and then I'd say probably Subterranean Complex might be next after that. Um, but yeah, so anyways, we're going to take on the Submerged Castle in this one and get this final above ground treasure. So we're going to land here. And we're going to try and get that above ground treasure as quickly as we can. We're just going to hurry and speed our way over there, get that treasure, and then we're going to go ahead and get into the submerged castle because I don't think we're going to be able to get all the submerged castle all in one go. I do have kind of a strategy for this, but I think that in order to get it, we're actually going to have to run through it twice. So we might be able to get like, you know, half the treasures on the first go, and we can get the other half in the second go. So. We take our Pikmin over here real quick. Is these guys here? Yes, they are, definitely. No, no, no. Yeah, there we go. Actually, you know what? Scratch it. Let's just grab them. We'll take these other 35. Okay. There's more of them. these guys there's that flying guy which we're just gonna go ahead and take him out oh oh okay I thought he grabbed our leader I was gonna say dude like what alright here we go so now I need all of our Pikmin. Let's come over here. So I'm gonna grab a few of these guys that didn't make it. There we go. I'm just gonna take them like a couple at a time over here to get this. Whoops, I'm too close, I think. Alright, we need ten more. Four will take fourteen, okay. And I think we're good. I don't think we need blues for this part or anything. We miss every one of those, except for I think we only landed one up there. Okay, I think we're good. Yep, we're good. Okay, perfect. So now we'll have these guys carry this thing back. Serious, they can't get through the freaking guys up here. Are these guys all gonna freaking dip? Except for that one, I guess. Oh my gosh, he's back. There we go, we got the treasure back. Now is the final above ground treasure here. 100 Pocos, perfect. 
Gherkin Gate. Cool. Okay, well, I'm gonna grab him. I'm gonna put all these guys away real quick. I'm gonna let those guys keep blooming. Hopefully, maybe. And I'll take out these guys real quick. Okay, we're gonna need a whole bunch more. I'm gonna bring all of our Pikmin over here. So, we're already a fourth of the way through it. Through the day. And they're still going back up the plant. Okay, here we go. Once all these guys get through, then we'll be good. We want to flower all of our blue Pikmin. And I guess I can put away our yellows, the ones we have in our squad right now. There we go. Look at that. Tons of them are already going in flowers now. I wish I could leave them in the ground and then just, you know, let them be flowers. But I have to pluck them, unfortunately, I guess. Man, we have a lot of blue leaf pigments. Okay, I don't think many more of them, I don't think those leaf Pikmin are going to go into bud just yet. We're just going to pluck them. We're going to grab all blues, try and get them all flowers before we go into the submerged castle. So, for those of you guys who don't know and haven't played this game before, or, you know, it's been a while, you cannot actually take any uh, Pikmin. Am I missing a guy somewhere? Or is it the count was just off? Oh, there's just a blue hanging out there for some reason. So, you cannot take any other Pikmin besides blue Pikmin into this hole. It's only for blue Pikmin because, I mean, the hole is quite a bit of the ways into the water. So, if you tried to bring any Pikmin over there, they would drown. And uh, it's even been found through the game code that even if you, like, glitch the game and you, like, you mod it or whatever, and you try and get... Oh, great. These guys. And you try and get any other type of Pikmin in, yeah, the game won't let you. It, it physically will just be like, yeah, no, we're not. Yeah, you can't take any other Pikmin but blue in here. Okay, I'm gonna ignore that guy for a second. Alright, halfway through the day. We gotta hurry. There we go, get two of these, up to 12 now, perfect. Alright, excellent. Still have a few of them, so I'm gonna try maybe getting some sap up here. Because I really want all flower blue Pikmin. There's like one leaf Pikmin still. Oh my goodness, and he won't go over there. Come on, you're so close. It's like he just refuses. There he goes. Goodness, that was a whole freaking thing. Okay. Take all hundred. Uh, we would like to get more berries, but we don't have time. Good, there's more of those guys right there. Nice. Oh, I guess there's more freaking stuff over here. Let's just check it out real quick. 
Any more potions? No, I just sap. Okay, that's fine. Oh no, I don't want to mess with that guy. Gosh! Come on, I got a hundred Pikmin. I can't take this guy on real quick. Oh good, we got those guys over there too. Well, this might be kind of a challenge trying to get over here now. Oh my gosh. No! Oh shoot! That was close. We now have another leaf pickman again. So that's cool. Oh no! Did we just skirt them? Okay, we did. Alright, here we go. Gosh, I'm not looking forward to this. So, Submerge Castle, it's pretty far out here in the water, so like I said, you can only take blue Pikmin in here, but look at all these different hazards. You got fire, water, electricity, and poison. So how are we actually going to do this? If you can't take, you know, fire, uh, you can't take red Pikmin in, you can't take yellows, you can't take whites, how are you going to take on, you know, all these different things? Well, it's, uh, it's tricky, so... It's been a while since I've tried this hole, but we're going to give it a shot. Um, yeah. Basically, one trick is to, is that electricity is really your only huge hazard for this hole, because fire isn't too much of a deal. So it's not much of a big deal because... I like how there's a geyser on the very first hole. There we go. Okay, come on. Carry it, carry it, carry it. Oh, there you go. See, blue Pikmin can take on any fire hazard pretty easily. You know, it doesn't matter too much. Is this the only treasure for this floor? I hope so. There we go. There's a treasure. 35 Pokos. It's called the pastry wheel. Nice. Okay, nope, we still have another thing here. There's something sleeping. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? It's him? Okay, well. Looks like I know what I'm doing for him. We're just going to take all of our blues. Toss, 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 toss. Thank you. There's two treasures there. There we go. We got to hurry. Whoops. Wait for a second. Anything else here? Okay, that should be all of those guys. Here we go. There's the first treasure. And we're gonna get the second one in a second. 15 Pokos. It's called the Bug Bait. Nice. And here's the second one. Excellent. 25 Pokos. It's the Diet Doomer. Nice. Good title for it. I like that title. Okay, well that is all of our treasures for this floor, so now I am actually going to hurry it up, and I'm going to go down to the next floor. So you guys will probably find out soon enough why we're going to try and hurry through this as fast as we can, but basically you just want to get all the treasures you can and go to the next floor as fast as possible, because if you don't, then you're kind of screwed, so yeah. Alright, sub-level 2. So, we gotta be real quick about this. Um, oh good, there's a guy right there. There's a treasure right there as well. Oh goodness, actually we probably shouldn't uh, destroy that thing fully just yet. 
Um, yeah. And that guy's right over there. I hate this cave. Okay, well. Come on, come on, come on, come on, toss, toss, toss. Get on him, get on him, get on him, get on him, get on him. Okay, and also a rule of thumb for this cave, you basically never want to, uh, uh crap, you never want to take any creatures back, because it's pretty much pointless, okay. You just want to take your time for the treasures, and that's about it. Okay, are we gonna make it? Only Mars freaking in front of us. Gosh. Come on, come on, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. I mean, I guess we could take that guy back. So these ones are pretty fast. Okay. I think that's everything on this side. Good. Hopefully those guys won't try and jump down and take my treasure from me. We left a whole bunch behind over here. Okay, whatever. I don't know how these guys are having trouble carrying that, but scratch it, dude. Did we leave any behind over there? No, we didn't. Okay. So we're just going to ignore all that noise. And I'm going to bring our guys over here onto this side of the map. And we're going to get this one and we're going to try and just go. Okay, why is that guy right there? He's literally on the other side of that wall. So as soon as it goes down, he's just going to... Lunch time. Can he just kind of screw off already? Alright, turn around, go away. Okay, there we go. Got that. 40 Pocos, it's a donut. The chocolate cushion, nice. Come on, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. No, 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 no. He killed one already? Are you serious? He just got four of them. Ah, hate that guy. Okay, um, now, let's bring the rest of these guys over here. I fell. Gosh darn it. That's gonna cost us a little bit of time that we don't really have. I, never mind, that gave me a little bit of PTSD there. I thought that was something else. Alright, 10 Pocos, come on. What is it called? Comfort Cookie. Come on. We got that other thing. Just gotta toss Pikmin on this real quick. Then I'm gonna take the rest of our guys over here. Work on taking that down. goodness. Okay, it's through. We're good here. Come on. Put that in. Get the treasure in. Here we go. Yes. Thank you. 60 Pocos. Confection hoop. And that's the final one for this floor, right? Yes, okay. We lost four Pikmin, that sucks. But honestly, I, I, I'm i glad we got all the treasures. And we're, we're through. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that was uh, not great. I'm thinking we might lose upwards of 25 in this cave. It's real great. Come on. Please be a good spawn. <laughs> Uh, I, okay. Yeah, what? No, 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 no. Oh, that was too close. I shouldn't have probably gone for that at all. Uh, there's a treasure. 
There's the thing. I hear a blowhog. I'm gonna wait for it to go, and then I'm gonna bring them all over and attack it. Oh, good. This guy's freaking here. Come on, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. I don't know. I don't remember what that guy. I think he's electric, but I don't know ex his exact move. Come on, go. Hurry the crap up. What are they going that way for? Okay, there we go. Oh, there's a bold man over there. There we go. We got it through. Thank you. What's it called? 50 Pocos. Succulent mattress. Nice. Whatever. We, we don't have anything in there, so that's not any use. Good. We don't have to face that guy yet. There's a white thing. That was super close as well. Any treasures over here? What are we looking like? Where's the cave? It's his. Where's the hole? Oh, good. There's the guy. Um, looks like, I guess there's just treasures over there. There's not really anything over here. I was trying to attack him from behind real quick. Come on, no, 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 get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Yes, we got him. Here we go, here we go, here we go. The confused Bulborb has fallen in with the Pikmin. They appear to coexist peacefully. Strange, this Bulborb has a leaf sprouting from its spine, much like the leaf on a Pikmin's head. Okay, well now we're back up to 100. There's a blow, dude. Come on, get as many Pikmin on as possible. You should drop a treasure. Yep. Okay, take it, take it, take it, take it before that guy starts going for it. Why are you taking it over to him? Oh my gosh. Looks like there's a thing in here. Okay, we, we might be good on this hole. Come on, don't let that guy take it. Come on, hurry and go, 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 go. Stop attacking him. Alright, we're gonna take out this thing. Come on, no, no, no. Yes. Alright, now we're gonna attack this. Holy Mars over here. Where's the two treasures? Right next to each other. Nice. Okay, we got at least one treasure here, and then the second one should be right there. I think that's the last one, because of that. What? Three treasures, this one? Ten Pocos, nice. It's a cookie. Compelling cookie. Stop attacking him and just take the thing back. Come on, we have enough Pikmin. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Wilson lid, nice. Activity arouser, nice. Okay, we got it. Well, we didn't, uh, we traded out a whole bunch of blues for it instead, I guess. But we got some white pigments, so that's good. We got all the treasures for this hole. We got this. Okay, we're good to go. Alright, I'm, I'm just gonna go. Let's crash that. I'm just going, dude. Even the little, like, Boldman guys jump in as well. Alright, here we go. That was sub-level three. Oh, man. This is 
Interesting. I hate this cave. I like ones that I can just take my time with, you know? I don't like to be rushed. Okay, what's this one looking like? There's something right there. That'd be good. Get some more flowers. Uh, there's another- there's two of them? Are you serious? Dude, what? Like, you're actually kidding me right now. Oh, we lost a Boldman. Well, we got that guy. Come on, no, 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 he just ate a Pikmin. Good thing it wasn't a white Pikmin. Speaking of white Pikmin, where are they? Dang, these guys are fast. Come on, come on, come on. Is there still a guy working on it? It's a Boldman. Whatever. There's just a trap in front of it like that, dude. Like, come on. There's a gold dude. Yay, treasure. Oh my gosh. What's up with all these bombs? There we go, we got something. Got something back, we also destroyed a thing. 25 Poco's nice. Pale Passion. Cool. There's a battery in there. Is there something in here? What is that? Oh, that's just an egg. Okay, we don't need that at all. There's a freaking bomb. Okay, grab the treasure, grab the treasure, grab the treasure. Okay, now, uh... What? What the heck, Pikmin, get away! Okay, we got that battery back. Nice. There's at least still another treasure on the floor, I think, right? 90 Pocos. Proton to Blay. What the heck is with all these freaking things? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Deviled Ham. Okay, let's grab that. And I think we're gonna be good on time this one. It should be okay. Come on, I need lots of hands here. Oh no, 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 no. Getting them all back? Is that the last treasure? Come on, please. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. I think that's it. And then we can go. Gosh, I, I like how this guy spawned right at the very end. I mean, that wasn't great, but it was convenient that he spawned right at the very end. Alright, Devil Tam drone supplies. Nice. 130 Pocos. Is that it? That's it. Okay, perfect. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Sub level 5. Here we go. That was good. I mean, I like I said, I was trying to say there, I didn't love how he spawned right there at the very end, but all, at the same time, I did love that he spawned only at the very end, after we already got the treasure pass and everything. So, there we go. Alright, so level 5. Gosh. I hate this place. <gasps> yes! Here we go. Perfect. This is what I want. So, we're on the final floor of Smurge Castle, 
And we actually get to face the boss on this one. So this cave is an interesting one because you can actually face the boss on any floor. It doesn't have to be the final floor. And that's why we've been trying to rush through this because if you don't take uh, caution and if you just speed, like if you, you know, slowly get all the treasures and stuff, then he'll actually show up and he's actually impossible to defeat until this final floor. You cannot defeat the Water Wraith until now. And the secret is the purple pigment. Okay, here we go. So the purple pigment are the secret behind defeating this guy. And yeah, he's really kind of a hard boss. He's one of the hardest ones in the game. The easiest thing to do is really just to rush through all these levels, not go after any creatures, and uh, yeah, just don't go after any creatures, don't go after really any nectar, just get the treasures and go to the next sub-level as quickly as you possibly can. Because if you don't, then he'll spawn and he'll probably end up killing like half your Pikmin. Um, yeah, and he's also, like I mentioned, he's impossible to defeat um, until this final floor. You literally cannot touch him or deal any damage to him until this final floor. And purple Pikmin are the secret to the, behind it. Alright, here we go. Are there any blues that need flowers? I don't think so. Look at all this nectar, dude. I'm gonna get a whole bunch of what do you call it from that. That was actually kind of a, uh, a pleasant surprise. Okay, uh, we got to proceed with caution right now because I didn't mean to destroy that. So now we are going to basically hide a whole bunch of our Pikmin. Because the Water Wraith can't go into small crevices. So that's good. We also don't want to have too many Pikmin in our squad. The Water Wraith also goes after the current active captain. Alright, here we go. Let's face him. He's gonna drop. There he is. And he's freaking huge. See? He's a giant freaking guy. So, he rolls around. Like I said, he goes after the current active captain. So he won't go after any of our other Pikmin for a second or two. Bring him somewhat close over here. Oh my goodness. What the heck? Pikmin, get out the way. What the heck are those guys doing? Okay, we want to get him out of here. This is a terrible spot to try and deal with him at. Get him back over to the freaking arena. What is he doing? Is he coming? No, he's freaking just turning around. What is he doing? Is he now stuck in there? Oh my goodness. What is he doing? Honestly. Hello, Mr. Rotter Wraith. Over here. Yeah, he's like, I think he's trying to make the turn, but he's... What? Why is he going over there now? I guess he can make tight turns, but he can't come out here. Oh 
Oh my gosh, this guy is a genius. Straight up. Whatever happened, he goes after the active captain. Hello, homeboy. You coming? Come on. I guess he only goes after the active captain if he's freaking close enough. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. We got him. Oh my gosh, we got him. I thought he was going to come back because he kept going. <gasps> so now we got rid of his freaking motor thing. The rollers. And now we can freaking get him. Now he can't hurt Pikmin. Scratch it. Get every Pikmin over here. He's like, oh, help me. Where's our other Pikmin? Oh, it's a blue one. He's still attacking him? Homeboy's so scared now. And he doesn't have his rollers. Homeboy ain't crap. Gosh, I hate this guy. Thank goodness we defeated him. And there he goes. And he has no value because he just disappears. But he did give us a good treasure. So it's a special treasure. Whew! That was intense. Processing. How curious. The wraith completely vanished. But what was it? Surface object scans indicate the presence of a bright red component. And this is the only treasure for this floor. So I'm actually really surprised that we got every treasure uh, in this cave so far, I think, right? I don't think we missed any. And there it is. And it's a super special treasure. 100 Pocos. The Professional Noisemaker. How insulting. This object's coloring is more eye-catching than my own hull. I mean, it's made out of solid gold, so what? I shall connect it to the alarm clock our esteemed president was so fond of. Processing complete. I have now refitted both objects into a pluck -a phone Now, simply blowing your whistle will inspire Pikmin sprouts to pop out of the ground. So there we go. So now if any Pikmin get, you know, put into the ground, we can just blow our whistle and they're good. They can just pop right out. We don't have to pluck any Pikmin anymore. We can just literally blow our whistle and we're good. Is that all of them? Okay. So that was the Water Wraith. He's uh, annoying, but in this final battle, if you have Purple Pikmin, he's not too bad. So, you literally can't do anything against him in the other floors. That's what makes this cave such a pain in the butt. It's just the, like the stress that it puts on you because you have to just go so fast. And it's so annoying. But, whatever, we made it. I think we got all the treasures too. Yeah, there we go. We escaped. Also, Boldman. You want to make sure that you trade out your Boldman for Purple Pikmin or White Pikmin because you can't take Boldman with you. So there we go. We lost seven Pikmin. Dang. That sucks, but I'm glad we got it. And we got every treasure, so there we go. We got the Professional Noisemaker, Confection Hoop, Diet Doomer, Pale Passion, Bug Bait, Chocolate Cushion, Pastry Wheel, Compelling Cookie, Comfort Cookie, Succulent Mattress, Proton AA, Activity Arouser, and the drone supplies with 22 Pocos from random creatures and stuff for a grand total of uh, 712. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. Treasure salvage 13 out of 13 in this hole. And we got the above ground one as well. So there we go. Perplexing pool. Oh my goodness. We did it. We finished the submerged castle and the perplexing pool. <sighs> did take some casualties though. So that's unfortunate. But... Yay, we got it. So, all right, here we go. We now have 118 
purples. I'm gonna put away some blues. Just gonna get 75. I'm gonna take out some more purples. Alright, now let's go kick some butt for the remainder of this day. So, that is all the perplexing pool. We have all the above ground treasures here, have all the caves done. That's cool. Um, something. Oh, here we go. Well, we wrecked them all. So, that's chill. Let's see if we can get my potions. Let's come over here and let's grab some more nectar. So we did use two potions. We used one purple and one red. That was good. Like I said there, I didn't think we were going to be able to get the freaking thing. Um, I thought Homeboy was going to come out and just wreck us, but fortunately he didn't. And we didn't get any berries. Nice. That's just awesome. Or did we? Oh, we got a few. Perfect. I'm gonna leave those guys there. Come over here. Watch these other guys. But that is a perplexing pool. So now the only thing we have left to do in this entire game is just to uh, now go to the Wistful Wild, get all the above ground treasures, get the treasures in all the caves, and that is not going to be fun. Uh, Wistful Wild, dude, compared to the uh, Submerged Castle, Wistful Wild's like way harder. And I'm not looking forward to that in the slightest, so. That's what we have to look forward to is the Wistful Wild. The above ground treasures are pretty hard to get, and all the caves are basically like five times harder than any of the other previous caves we've experienced in the entire game. So that's cool, right? Right. Uh, let's get some more berries real quick, I guess. I'm just gonna collect them as they fall. We've got plenty of time, right? pick them all up. We only got a couple seconds before some countdown starts. And then we have all of our Pikmin. We, I think we're good. Okay. Ten. Here we go. Six. We're gonna have time. And we're not leaving any behind, right? That'd be terrible. I'm not seeing any dots anywhere. Five. Four. Come on. Three. Two. Bring them all in. One. Zero. There we go. Nice. Also, let's look at our berries real quick. 13, we just barely got another one. 0, 17 with 8. Okay, there we go. 72 out of 72. And there is Perplexing Pool. All done now. So that's excellent. Nice. So, Smurge Castle. That was kind of a challenge, but uh, we did decent in it. I mean, it wasn't bad. I would have liked to not lose any Pikmin. We lost 7, so that's unfortunate. But, hey, it could have been a lot worse. So, yeah, like I said, now we are done with Perplexing Pool. The Awakening Wood and the Valley of Repose. Now it's on the Wistful Wild. So 
three caves there. I think there's like five above ground treasures, something like that. So that's going to take us at least like, you know, a couple videos more to do. But we're approaching the end now. So here we go. Funds earned. Look at all that. And the Gherkin Gate was the top one up here. So we got 812 Pogos for a grand total of 14,740. Cool. All right, Pikmin we went up three reds. We went up, what was that, 30 yellows. We went up, uh, what was that, 26 blues. Went up five whites, and then we went up 10 purples. So deaths, did lose a whole bunch. One to explosion, six to battle. Gosh, that is disappointing, but yeah. Okay, we have not uh, lost any to sunset, fire, or electricity yet, so that's pretty good. But here we go. Mail. Papa, I'm going to prep school. Mama said that if I don't study hard, I can't become a proper lady. Do I write a nice proper mail? Do tell, Papa. She sure did. Cool. Well, he'll be back soon because we're pretty much done with the game. So, woo. There's the perplexing pool, 100%ed. Valley Repose, 100%ed. And the Awakening Wood, 100%ed. So now... Blissful Wild, five above ground treasures. That's going to take us a little while to do. We're not going to be able to do all those in one day. It's probably going to take us at least like two, three days to do. As well as clearing out enemies towards caves and stuff. Dude, I hate that area. I hate that so much. Uh, we're also going to want to get more Pikmin. So we might get more at the Awakening Wood. Get more, you know, like, uh, what do you call them? Just get more f potions and stuff. Try all that stuff out as well. Um, yeah. Not too bad, though. But here we go. Water Wraith. Here he is. So here's what it looks like when he runs over Pikmin. So he just drives around on top of his giant wheel things. Right now he's flying away for some reason. Where's he going? He's like trying to go out of this little arena. Homie, you can't. I think he's trying to go after a captain, but there's like no active captain. Holy Mars notes. Amphibio sapiens. All that is known about this creature stems from a few sightings deep underground. All reported sightings feature the same core set of detail. A giant, vicious form with a clear, hazy sheen, not unlike hard candy. One theory holds that it may be the ectoplasmic incarnation of a kind of psychic phenomenon. But as is usually the case with such theories, it's very difficult to prove. All witness report being suddenly overcome all witnesses report being suddenly overcome with fear upon sighting the creature approaching a state of panic and near insanity in fact every report contains an inordinate amount of extremely vague details which has led to suspicions that exhaustion and fear have caused some simple natural phenomenon to be viewed as a living creature hmm. wait what did he get out of the thing no okay yeah he doesn't want anything to do with us so here have all been the big bosses we have fought so far. So we fought the uh, Empress Bullblax. We fought the Burrowing Snagrit. Beady Longlegs. Emperor Bullblax. Giant Breadbug. Pillated? Pillated Snagrit? What is that? I don't, I, I'm sorry, it's too late at night for me. Um, then the Manit Legs. Ranging Bloister. The Water Wraith. And is that it? Where's the other giant? Oh, right there, the beady long things. Okay. So, spoiler alert, uh, we are actually going to face some of these guys again. So, there are other people that we're going to face again. So, just like how the Burling Snaggerit often appears in more than one hole, like, you know, he was the boss of one of the, um, you know, one of the caves. We found him multiple times. We've killed him seven times already. We've lost 15 Pikmin to him, so he's annoying, but. Yeah, so. He is super frustrating um, to deal with, but we'll see a lot more of him. But we also see a lot more of these other guys as well. So although we won't see the Water Wraith anymore, he's just done. That's uh, It's really awesome. I'm, I'm really happy about that. We will end up facing more of Snaggerts. Like I said, we faced two Empress Bull Blacks. One of them was the one where she's like giving birth. I don't know if we will ever face Beady Longlegs again. But I can say for certain that we will face the Emperor Bull Blacks. 
And we're gonna face multiple of them at once. So that's fun, right? I'm not looking forward to that at all. This guy is so annoying. So we gotta end up dealing with him at some point. I don't think we'll ever see the giant bread bug. This snaggery, I think we will see more of. Uh, don't quote me on that though. Man at legs, I think, is just a one and done thing. But there are still three big bosses that we have to find. So, yeah, that is uh, that is that. Three more big bosses, and there are three more caves that we have to go for. So we have in here the first one question mark question mark question mark then we got two more after that and yeah so that's the wistful wild so that was where all the piclopedia now if we go into treasures did we complete any sets real quick yes we did here we go what did we get unless my controller is just broken where's it going the explorers friends series everyone has friends except for spaceships nice cool well we still have quite a bit to go, but uh, we made some pretty good progress there. We got 14 of those treasures. So what I say now we're down to like 56 more treasures left to get. So we got to get a bunch of them in all these different caves in the five above ground. So that was day 21. <sighs> that was nuts. So join me guys back next time where we'll be going to the Wistful Wild. I don't know if we're going to go into a cave just yet. I don't think I'm prepared for that mentally. So what instead we're going to do is we're going to get at least one above ground treasure. I know exactly what one of these treasures is. And it's, it shouldn't be too bad to get. Get the above ground treasure. You can also try and explore this area. Get some more caves or whatever uh, looked at. And like so it'll actually show up on this menu thing. And also you know just explore more of the Wistful Wild as well. So there you guys go. Thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you guys right back here next time.